Hi YouTube viewers, uh, decided to do a short video here. I got a 2008 Dodge Charger RT and the mirrors, side mirrors, as you can see, they become discolored and it's impossible to take that whatever it is off of there. I got it on both, both uh, passenger and driver mirror as you can see. I mean, I even tried taking steel wool, it just won't come off. So I decided to repaint. Looked at a, quite a few uh, videos out there, put out by other people on how to remove these mirror covers. And uh, honestly, uh, they helped a little bit, but not specifically to this uh, year and, and model car. Um, had a heck of a time getting them off. And so to maybe help somebody out, else out that might have the same uh, vehicle, what I did, now this is the driver's the driver's side mirror cover. What I did was I marked in red. See these clips here, these two, and these are actually located on the bottom. And these are the ones that actually have a clipping, as you can see. I hope that's focused for you. Let's see, that one, and that one. I put a little nail polish on it to highlight it so it'll be easier for everyone to see. But those are actually actual clips. The rest, the rest of these are almost, I'm gonna call them guides. They don't have any actual clipping on them. Although you, I actually pushed on them to, to get them to release some of the mirror. But these on the bottom here are actually, I'm gonna call clips. The rest of these are guides that do slip into place. And um, I will sort of make it easier. So you could uh, relate, this one is the driver's side mirror and then this one here marked with a P for uh, this is the passenger side and again it's I marked in red it's got the um, it's got what I call the clips on that side also and the rest are guides so you can see the orientation actually yeah that might make it a little easier for you hopefully help somebody out that's struggled a bit like I did First, I uh, tried some 1500 uh, grit sandpaper to get off the um, that staining that you saw in the mirrors. It almost looked like a mold or something. That didn't do anything really, and I tried some 600 grit. That didn't work. The trick was when I got down to 400 grit sandpaper, that really, just gently going over it, that really it took all of that staining off that you see. Now, I've since, uh, first I used some uh, mineral spirits to, to clean it off and then I used some alcohol and clean cloths but you could see all of that staining is now off which is great so uh, now we're uh, we're getting ready for paint here I just passed along something I learned regarding the to get the right color match at least on this car which again is a 2008 Dodge Charger RT look on this sticker here and right down over here it says PNT and then PW1 that's the paint color match PW1 so go over here to the can I got the duplicolor and it says original Chrysler colors but if you look over here onto the barcode it says stone white PW1 so you now got the right paint I put about a half a dozen co coats or so of the of the, uh, the white on and then after that you know I felt the surface and it was uh, not smooth, so I went over it with lightly over with this uh, 1500 grit uh, sandpaper, and then I put uh, cleaned it off, wiped it down, and then I put a couple more coats of the white. And uh, after that dried, then I went over it again, real lightly with the uh, 1500 grit, so that it's it's nice and smooth now. So now I'm ready. I'm going to put some uh, Duplicolor 
some of their clear coat on it. Okay, so yesterday I finished painting the covers and I'm really, really pleased the way they look right now. I, uh, I don't know, I probably had a dozen coats of paint and probably a dozen coats of, of the lacquer on top of that, the clear lacquer. And uh, what I did was after I'd gotten uh, most of the coats of the lacquer on, I also lightly, very lightly sanded that down with the 1500 grit. And then I put a couple more coats of the clear on. And they absolutely look beautiful, better than I thought they were going to come out. But I did, I, I didn't want to put them on yesterday. I wanted them to dry overnight. And I also have a, uh, I have a, have a fan over there which I kept on last night. And it's, uh, it's February here, but it's South Florida, so it's in the garage here. It's about 77 degrees, and uh, they seem to have dried up, and they look beautiful, really nice. So hoping that the. Uh, Installing them is going to be a heck of a lot easier than it was getting them out. Okay, I just noticed something that uh, I think uh, would be beneficial to point out. You can see this little, let me see, here it is right here. You see that little tab with the hole in it? Well, as I was starting to put the mirror on, it was having a little resistance. So. That has to go through it. So what I'm doing first is to try to position the top on these guides here and then have these clips go into place. But look underneath the mirror because this has to go into there. Well, the mirror on the passenger side it fit perfectly back together. I am having some difficulty, unfortunately, with the driver's side. This thing snapped into place, and let me see, it's sunny out here. You could see it is not sealing up properly here. And I tried every which way to get this thing to fit in, and it's just not working. I might end up having to take the cover off once again. Okay, after struggling trying to take this cover back off again, and I was really concerned. I didn't want to scratch the cover or to break anything. You know how it goes when you get to the end of a project, something can go wrong. But it looks like I've managed to get it to fit on fairly well here. As you could see. So we're gonna leave well enough alone right now. The uh, covers look nice, come out nice. Move around to the other side here. Now personally, I think that this shade, this stone white, however, is just just a smidgen darker than the original. Uh, not sure why that is, unless the original paint fades a tiny bit, especially down here in Florida where it's really sunny. And the car is outside all the time. So perhaps that's what it is, I don't know. But you could, I could notice, maybe nobody else knows, but I could notice a, a slight change in the, uh, in the, uh, whiteness it's not uh, the car overall is just a fraction of a shade brighter and whiter than the cover is it seems to be a little bit more of an off-white but not bothering me